All right, this is literally a redo of video I've done this morning because there was um, interruptions with the other video. So let's get into it. Doctor Doom. Okay, so Doctor Doom um, was the villain in Fantastic Four, both 2005 and 2015. But in the 2005 version, we had this actor here, Julia McMahon, who was, of course, known for playing Cole in Charmed, opposite Lisa Milano, Holly Mary Combs, and the late Shannon Doherty. So it was no surprise that in the comic um, con do that was out there yesterday, that there's going to be another new actor that's going to play Dr. Victor Doom in, that was in Fantastic Four. But now Doctor Doom is now part of the Avenger franchise. And let me tell you, when I found out today who the actor was, here was me going, seriously, Marvel, seriously? This actor was five years gone from the Marvel Universe. And now you're so desperate. You're like, you know what? There's no other actor in this plan on this planet that can play Doctor Doom other than this actor. I'm going to show you in a few minutes. But for those who don't know who Doctor Doom is, then here's a little, a little thing for you, a little um, start background for you. Okay. So he, like I said, there was played by Julian McMahon in Fantastic Four back in 2005, which had Yoni Groff in it. Jessica Alba was in it. Chris Evans. Oh yeah, Chris Evans before he became Captain America in the Avenger franchise, and he was also in his own spin-off movies as well. Um, that Chris Evans, and I said Michael Chikas as well. Um, it didn't do well in the box office, you know, it was kind of critically panned, both the original and the sequel. And then we got a reboot in 2015 called Fan Four Stick, which won a ton of Razzies. It had like Miles Teller and Kate Mara. So let's go into this this guy, um, this version of Doctor Doom that I actually saw back in the noughties. So Jim McMahon, his version of Doctor Doom was very charismatic he was manipulative he was engaged to susan storm who was of course married to dr reeds played by reed richard sorry played by what's his name yon Gruff, with a very convincing american accent and of course something happens to him well, well to all of them actually because each one of them develops superhuman powers but in this case he gets disfigured from the meteor, meteor that turned him into superheroes and of course he got disfigured because of it. So with so therefore he had to wear this like a mask thing to disguise his disfigurement, which is this here. This here, this is actually June McMahon. And yeah, it looked like something of the man that are mask. So yeah, but it was no surprise, like I said to you guys, that we are getting Dr. June back again. And yeah, if you don't know who it is. And it, I'm not making this up because all over my TikTok for your page, it's this guy here, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, you heard that right. Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man himself, who, spoiler alert, died in Avengers Endgame, by the way, and had me crying like a toddler, by the way, due to his death in that film, has decided, do you know what? I'm a finish the Avengers. Oh no! This time I'm gonna come back, but not as our, not as this guy here. This guy here. Oh no! I'm gonna become a, this guy. This guy instead. Like, okay. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I actually love Robert Downey Jr. I think he's a terrific actor. He's very versatile. He's likable. But I know, like, what you're gonna say when I'm gonna say this. Oh hey, Lisa. Chris Evans was in another superhero movie back in 2005, and you're not complaining about him. But let me get into Chris Evans, okay? So Chris Evans, like I said to you, was in Fantastic Four, right? And that came out in 2005, but wasn't part of the Marvel Universe, it's from 20th Century Fox. Have you seen, yeah, I'm not gonna say, yeah, spoiler. If you saw Deadpool Wolverine, he actually reprises his role as Johnny Storm briefly in that film, which is like a nod to Fantastic Four back in 2005. But, what really annoys me about this cast of Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom is, is the fact that it's literally part of the Avengers franchise and he actually left the franchise in 2019 as Iron Man because he died in Iron Man along with Scarlett Johansson and a couple more characters got killed off. Spoilers. And it was on for whooping three hours, by the way. 
So it was no surprise that like in 2026, we're going to have the Avengers yet again with Robert Downey Jr. as the villain. And here's me going, are you serious, Kevin Fig? Are you serious? I mean, you couldn't have the likes of, I don't know, Killian Murphy in it or someone or Christoph Waltz or who else? Yeah, Christoph Waltz actually, hold that thought. Christopher Waltz would actually be good as Doctor Doom because he is the most con- convincing, conniving guy on this planet. Or even pff, even Colin Farrell for crying out loud. But no, you were like, you know what, we're going to have Iron Man back again. And then the people actually saw Avengers from 2012 until 2019 before they, I suppose, rebooted it again. They were like, oh, this is the end of Iron Man. Then they see Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom and they go... Wait a minute, Marvel. Did you lie to me? Did you literally lie to me? You, I mean, I thought he died. And now you're telling me that he turned bad and changed his identity. I was like, hello, folks. Yes, who's back? It's Dr. Doom. Victor Doom. Yeah, Dr. Doom. I was Iron Man by faking my death. And here's me going, Iron Man, what the fuck are you doing in this movie? I, yeah. What are your thoughts on Robert Downey Jr. coming back again as the villain this time instead of Iron Man? Do you think it's too soon? For me, I think it is too soon. A lot of people might be on this bashing and saying, oh, it's not too soon, but I think it is too soon. I mean, I think they should have given it to someone else because he's he was an Iron Man since 2008, which is part of Paramount, by the way, before MCU became a thing, by the way. And now he's back again, and I'm like, yeah... I mean, if it wasn't an Avengers movie, because if it was another reboot of Fantastic Four, which we're actually getting, by the way, if he was in that film with Vanessa Kirby and Joseph Quinn, then I kind of understand. But to have him in the Avengers again, it's like it's like they're running out of, out of ideas. But yeah, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below.